Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. Today we are going to do the problem which is called bipartite graph. So let's check whether a graph is bipartite or not. What is the meaning of bipartite? Means you can color the graph using two different colors entirely. Okay, let us start. Let us say I decide to color this node as blue. Then its neighbor cannot be blue. This I cannot color it as blue because neighbors cannot be of the same color. That is the meaning of bipartite graph. So let me allot some other color here. Let's say I color its neighbor as green. Now since this is green, this cannot be green. I cannot just make green here. If I make this as green, then neighbors will be of the same color which is not allowed. So if I am going to color this one as green, let me color this one as blue. So you can see that no two neighbors have the same color here and this is a bipartite graph. So a bipartite graph means you have to cover the entire graph using just two colors such that no two neighbors have the same color. Let me write it, have the same color. Okay, let us um, see another example. So let's say we have this graph, right? So let's say I start coloring the first node as blue. Now its neighbor, its neighbor is 2. So I can only make this as green color. I cannot give it blue color because if I give it blue color, then these two neighbors will have same color. So if this is blue, this has to be green. Okay. So now let me consider these two neighbors. Now these, these two are also neighbors. That means if this is green, this will have to be blue. Okay. So I will color this neighbor as blue. Now you see these two neighbors have got the same color. There is no way in which I can give this node any possible color. If I give it blue, this is not allowed because these two neighbors are having same color. So this is not allowed. If I make it green, then it is not allowed because these two neighbors are again having the same color, right? So it is a problem. Let us see one more example. Let us see the node one. Say you have two, say you have three, let's say you have four. Let us start with the very first node. So very first node, let's say I make it a uh, blue color. So let me go to its neighbor. So its neighbor is this. So I'm going to make it green. Now let me go to this neighbor. This is blue. So I'm going to, I have to give it a different color from this. So I'll make it blue. Now let me go to this neighbor. Now it's a different color. So I will have to make it green. Okay. So this is a bipartite graph. So a bipartite graph is actually a graph which does not have a odd cycle you can see that if it has a odd cycle uh, here we have a cycle of length 3 which is a odd numbered cycle so it can it cannot be a bipartite graph and so on but how do we solve this problem so the logic is pretty simple how are we going to solve this problem we are just going to make a color array right and in this color array what i can do i can uh, start with the very first node that i have and i can go and allot some color so this is how I'm going to solve the problem. Let's say I have these four nodes. So I'm going to go to the first node and I'm going to give it a color randomly, right? So let me redraw this. I have these four nodes, one, two, three, four, right? So I'm going to go to the first node, which is there, and I'm going to allot it some color. Let's say I give it a color one, okay, representing any color, okay? Let's say it represents this red color. Next, I'm going to, uh, go to its neighbor so i can use any method to go to its neighbor either a dfs or a bfs both will work for this problem so i'm going to go to its neighbor which has not been colored and i'm going to make give it another color so let's say i give this a color of two then i'm going to go inside the dfs of this and i'm seeing that this is black so this has to be red so i'm going to make this as red then i'm going to go into the neighbor of this again using any dfs or bfs call and i'm going to give it the respective different color so i'm going to make this black and this will get a color of two and so on right so i can see it is bipartite because i face no problem while coloring them but if it is not a bipartite graph then in that case when i start allotting colors i'll face some problem okay let us discuss that let us take this simple example let's say we have this graph so in this graph let us try to fill the color array and we will see that we will face problem right so let us start with the very first node let us say i am starting with the node um one so we can see that it is not colored so initially we can make all the colors as zero means it is not colored so i'm going to go to the first node which is not colored and i'm going to change its color okay so let's say if i change its color then its color becomes equal to one okay then uh, i'm going to uh, call its neighbors 
so first i call this neighbor and this neighbor should get a different color from this right if this color is blue then it should get a different color so i am going to color it using some other color and i am going to change the color here so let's say i represent it by 2 if this is 1 i can represent this by 2 you can use any two numbers right for just simplicity i am using 1 and 2 as my two colors and zero for not having colored it at all okay then from this i am going to make a call to its neighbor now when i go and make a call to its neighbor why am i making a call to its neighbor because i can see that its neighbor is not yet colored it's having a color of zero so i am going to um, call its neighbor when i call its neighbor let me make so if this is black then this i am going to make it as blue that means if this is two i will have to make this as one okay so when i do this let me just make this as one so when i make this as one now when i make this call i can also check if i have any neighbor so i am just going to check if any of my neighbor has the same color as me so if any of my neighbor has same color as me if it has the same color as me that means this graph is not a bipartite graph and we can return false so when 3 is getting a color of 1 but it is checking that it has a neighbor 1 which also has a color of 1 both of them have the same color that means this cannot be a bipartite graph that's it the logic is simple so we are going to start coding it so basically we are just declaring a color array color vector let's say and i'm going to call it um vector int let me just uh, give it full screen let's this is not better so let me just Okay, let me just zoom it. Okay, fine. I'm going to call it color, and it's also going to be of size v. Initially, I'm going to make all the colors as zero. Okay. Now we are just going to iterate from zero to v, and we are just going to check if any of the node is uncolored, right? So if color of i is let's say equal to zero, in that case we can just make a DFS call, right? So I'm going to solve this using DFS. We'll do the dry run and see. So I'm going to make a DFS call. I'm going to pass i, which is my current current vertex and i'm going to pass the adjacency matrix that is given to us and i'm going to pass this color vector that's it okay now if this call returns false so if this call return false then in that case we can also return false finally if this call returns true then in that case we can return true okay that's it now after this i can just declare the dfs it's going to be a boolean function it is taking three parameters right so these are the three parameters first it is going to take the current vertex so let me call it int vertex and then it is going to take our adjacency matrix as the second parameter third it's going to take the color vector as this parameter so let me just copy it so these are the three parameters of our function okay now let us start so the logic is pretty simple first we are going to get all the neighbors using the adjacency matrix so vector int neighbors is equal to adjacency from the adjacency list we can get the neighbor now we can iterate on each neighbor in the neighbors and now we can check if the neighbor is having the same color as me so i can simply check if color of neighbor is equal to color of vertex okay so for checking this before calling the dfs function i can give here i can give some color here okay so let us say i'm going to give the first color as 1 okay so i'm going to make the first color as 1 so when i pass this here when i pass this here my vertex will have a color of 1 okay that's it now i'm going to check if any of my neighbor is having the same color as me if it is having then we can just return false as simple as that okay else i can check if color of neighbor is equal to 0 means i have to give it a color my neighbor is not yet colored so in this case i am going to allot it a color what is the color so color of neighbor is going to be equal to depending on what color i have let's say the color of my vertex is let's say the color of my vertex is equal to 1 in that case i am going to give my neighbor a color of 2 if the color of my vertex is 2 then in that case i am going to give it a color of 1 so i have to give the opposite color right because two neighbors cannot have the same color so if my color is 1 i am going to give my neighbor a color of 2 if my color is 2 i am going to give my neighbor a color of 1 and so on and after this i can just make a dfs call again using neighbor as the new vertex and adjacency as list as the second parameter and color as a third parameter that's it now if this dfs call returns false 
then in that case we can also return false otherwise finally we can return true so this is the simple code now let's first submit it and then we will do a dry run and see if it is fine okay now let's submit it and see it's working okay it's working it's passing all the test cases now let's quickly do a dry run okay let me take this example so we have let me write it in this example we have um the adjacency list let me draw the adjacency list as such so we have the node 0 0 is connected to 2 and 3 right so in the adjacency list of 0 we have 2 and 3 okay let us take the next example in the next case we have um if we draw the adjacency matrix 1 is connected to 3 okay next in the adjacency matrix of uh, corresponding to 2 2 is connected to 0 and 3 so i'm just drawing out the adjacency list and we have the node 3 which is connected to 0 and 1 right so this is the entire adjacency list so 0 has two neighbors 2 and 3 we can see that uh, 1 has a neighbor 3 you can see that 2 has two neighbors 0 and 3 and 3 has neighbors 0 and 1 uh, and also 2 okay and also 2 let me write okay fine now let us start with this piece of code so what we are going to do here we are just going to check if color of i is 0 so for the very first case i equal to 0 let me also write the colors correspondingly so initially everyone is having color of 0 so this is color let me write it here this is the color okay so 0 has a color of 0 um 0 has a color of 0 1 has a color of 0 2 has a color of 0 and 3 also has a color of 0. So initially everyone is having a color of 0, right? Okay, fine. Now after this what I am going to do? I am going to call this DFS function for color, uh, see first i is equal to 0. So color of 0 is 0. So as soon as this happens, first of all I am going to allot the color of 0 as 1. So I am first of all I am giving it a color of 1 and I am going to call the DFS function on it, right? Now, uh, when I call the DFS function, first of all, I am going to uh, go to its neighbors. What are the neighbors from the adjacency list? The neighbors of 0 are 2 and 3, right? So, I am going to get this vector which has 2 and 3 inside it, right? Now, I am going to I, um, call the functions for 2 and 3. So, first neighbor is 2. Suppose the first neighbor is 2. So, I am going to check if color of 2 is equal to color of 0, right? My vertex is 0, my neighbor is 2, okay? So, I am going to check if the color of 2 is equal to the color of 0. So, currently, it is not equal, right? So, then I am going to go into the else, else condition. Color of neighbor is equal to 0. Now, neighbor is 2, its color is 0, obviously. So, I will have to allot it a color. So, I am going to give it a color different from mine. So, my color is 1. So, I am going to give it a color of 2, okay? My color is 1. I am going to make the color of neighbor as 2. Now, I am going to call the DFS function on the neighbor. So, now, when I call the DFS function, in this DFS function, what is going to happen, okay? So, so let me also write the DFS function call that we are making. First, we made the DFS function call with 0 as the vertex. When we make this function call, now we are going to make the function call with zero uh, with 2 as the vertex, right? So, now when I enter into this DFS call, 2 is my vertex, okay? So, now what are the neighbors of 2? When I see the neighbors for 2 using the adjacency list, the neighbors of 2 are 0 and 3, okay? So, neighbors of 2 are 0 and 3, okay? Now, I am going to again enter into this. First neighbor is, let's say, 0. I am going to check if the color of 0 is equal to the color of 2. I can see that 2 has a color of 2 and 0 has a color of 1. Both have different colors, right? Because we just allotted them different colors. So, it's awesome. So, this condition will not happen. So, let's enter to the next condition. I am checking if the color of my neighbor, my, my first neighbor is 0, right? So, I am checking if the color of 0 is equal to 0. It is not. I am checking whether I have allotted it a color or not. I have already allotted it a color, right? And it's a different color than mine. So, I have no problem. I just need neighbors to have different colors. Both of them have different colors. One has a color of 1 and I have a color of 2, right? So, no problem. So, this condition is also not true. So, I can just go to the next neighbor. Now, when I go to the next neighbor, the next neighbor is 3, right? So, the next neighbor is equal to 3. So now I am going to enter into this condition if color of 3 is equal to color of 2. 
so i am checking if color of 3 is equal to color of 2 no it is not because 3 has not yet been allotted any color so i am going to enter into the else condition if color of 3 is equal to 0 color of 3 is equal to 0 so i have to give it a color now what is the color that i am going to give what is the color of the vertex it is 2 right so i am going to make is give it a opposite color of 1 so the color of my vertex is 2 that is why i am going to give it a color of 1 right according to this condition okay awesome now let's go into the dfs call of of 3 so this time now we are going to go into dfs call of neighbor right so my neighbor is 3 so this time i'm going to pass 3 as the vertex so now i'm going to enter into the dfs call of 3 3 is my vertex first time now i'm going to see the neighbors of 3 3 has three neighbors 0 1 and 2 okay so first i'm going to check for the first neighbor which is 0 so i'm checking if the color of 0 is equal to color of 3 right so color of 0 is 1 color of 3 is equal to 1 now this is a condition which is going to return false so for the very first time both the neighbors both the nodes have the same color right two neighbors cannot have the same color so i have to return false here so both have the same color which is equal to 1 so i have to return false so i'm going to return false so this function is going to return false now in the dfs call of 2 this function this line is returning false so we have to return false to the parent call so this will return false here now this will see that this is returning false so it will also return false we will return false to the main call right and when we see that this is false here also it will return false okay 